Yo, what's up, boys? Uh, today we're gonna be making these like uh, QB Juice World, Lil Yachty, like tropical type melodies, maybe even Lil Tecca. I didn't say Lil Tecca because, like, it's, I don't know, you'll see, it's a little bit darker. Uh, honestly, though, like, comment some ideas in the description below. I'm real cute. I got like a couple ideas left, but like, you know, I, I, like, literally anything you guys want to see a video on, I'll make a video on. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for support lately. I've like been doing this for like, I don't know, like a month or two. And we're at like 250 subs. So yeah, loop down in the description below like always. Uh, yeah, follow my Instagram at Logan and yeah, let's go. Yo, what's up boys? Here we're making these like tropical, kind of like darker tropical Q Beats loops. Kind of like Yacht Club by uh, Lil Yachty and Juice World. That's pretty much what this was inspired by. Um, a little different than my normal stuff, but yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna just play out the loop. So yeah, this is like, I usually don't really make loops like this, but one time I was just messing with some chords. Uh, like, I just was kind of just clicking some chords in and I kind of made this little pattern. And yeah, I just decided I'll make a weird little tropical loop out of it. But yeah, I'm gonna play the first sound and then show you what it is. So I was like I said, I was just messing around with like chords and stuff. Like I was trying to do like a chord inversion and pretty much this is the same chord as this right here, except uh, each note was moved down a semitone or I mean in the scale. So like uh, instead of this being here, it's here because that's what the scale is. If that makes, I hope that makes sense. Um, and then I took this obviously and put it down. And I pretty much just played with the chords and then to figure out a little rhythm to it, I just wanted to make it a little like um, unconventional and bouncy. So I'll just play that. And as you can see, I have this little like triplet kind of thing and it only plays with the first part and the second part is just nothing because uh, you need variation. Cause if it was just Dun -na, dun -na, dun -na, dun -na, you know, like like this little triplet part over and over and get boring. Uh, another thing for variation is the second half of this sample or this uh, MIDI is different. And pretty much the main thing I did was just pitch things up. So this was down like there, put it up, added this little note. This was, this B was right here, right here, put it up. And yeah, let's just add some variation. So I'll play the ending. And then play right here. It kind of, um, I don't know the word for it, but like, because it's a little bit higher and up in the octave, just kind of builds up more for something, you know? But yeah, the sound is this Bell Ascobar uh, from a Palace Bank before. And I think I use this in another tutorial maybe, but uh, I like this sound a lot, it's pretty good. Next, I felt like it could use a little bit more. So I took the same pattern, copied it over to this um, steel drum sound uh, called hang drum. It's kind of more like tropical, like that's just like a bell sound, but this is really like a steel drum. I took the velocity down because of the little tapping sound you can hear, and I also took out the accent, so it's literally just the chords. And that just kind of gave it some emphasis, so I'll play it without it. And then with it. It just kind of adds a little bit, you know, like a little bit of flavor, texture, whatever. Next, it can't really be a tropical beat if there's not a flute. So, for weirdly, I went in Omnisphere and got this Emar flute. Um, you should guys should check out this guy's bank, and he's just pretty fire, like sample maker. Uh, I don't use Omnisphere for flutes ever, but this one just kind of sounded fire, especially at a higher pitch. So I just kind of made this random pattern. As you can see, all these notes are the same like length when they're like next to each other. Like 
as you can see there and I just did that to uh, like not do too much but still like adds a variation that you can take in and take out so I'll play it with it Because of that rhythm, I added an extra part at the end, like I said, just with the chords, uh, adds a little bit of variation, something you can take in and take out, because when you're making little counter melodies, and I'll talk about this in the last video, um, it's good not to do too much, but obviously you want it noticeable, and this like little flute is pretty noticeable, but it's just not doing too much. So I feel like I could use one more thing to switch it up, so I went into Purity and found this um, tropical sound. I actually use this sound a lot. I have a placement and I use this same sound. And I took the chords that I copied over. So as you can see, it's just the chords. There's nothing in between them. And then I took them, put it up an octave and put it down an octave. So that's why the chords look really big. Like these are actually the same notes. And then for part of them, I put the velocity down and I just do this to make it bigger, but still not be like crazy loud. So if I play it with the velocity all the way up, and then play it with the velocity down. It's uh, a little bit quieter. And then as you can see, there's no effects on this. I literally just leveled it and that's really like all you need to do unless you're trying to like actually add something. So I, I never used this reverb, but I added this Valhalla vintage verb. So without the reverb, it sounds like this. And it's super dry. So I add this Valhalla Vintage Verb and then normal reverb and then just a little bit of EQ to clean up the bottom part just because we don't want that because it's supposed to just be a little counter melody and most of the time the counter melody is going to be, unless it's a sub bass, it's going to be a little bit higher up and yeah, I just here's what it sounds like. So yeah, uh, I'll leave a loop down in the description below. Thanks for 250 subs. Um, I know this is a little bit different. I just wanted to try something different out while I make a couple more loops that I can break down. I made this like a month ago. Um, I sent it out. Nobody, I actually never heard anyone use it, but hopefully one of you guys uses it. And uh, yeah, down in the description below, send it to me. But yeah, thank you for watching. Follow my Instagram, follow my Instagram at LogantyHN. And yeah, peace.